Hi friends and welcome to Book a Day for Little Learners. Friends, today we continue adding to our Tacky the Penguin books. This is a series by Helen Luster, including this character, Tacky the Penguin, who does lots of interesting things that are quite different from his penguin companions. Friends, please like our video and subscribe to our channel so that you can continue to get gain access or have access to all of our wonderful stories. Helen Lester, Tacky in Trouble. Friends, it's kind of silly that he is a penguin wearing a Hawaiian print shirt when he lives in such a cold place, right? You wouldn't see these two things together, friends. The book is illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. As goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect sang, sunrise on the iceberg, the sun rose on the iceberg. They felt very much in charge. They're awake, they're singing. <laughs> Look what Tacky's doing. What's happening? Blared Tacky the penguin, greeting each of his companions with a hearty slap on the back. After breakfast, the penguins went about their morning activities. Whether they were ice block building, napkin folding, feather combing, or ballroom dancing, Tacky was the odd bird. Then it was nap time. Nap time for all, that is, but tacky. What a great day for surfing, he cried. Would that be fun or what? It would be what, said goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect. Go surfing if you must, but please do it quietly. So tacky took off alone and coasted over the waves. Friends, I have never been surfing. Do you know anyone who's been surfing? Suddenly, the wind came up, filling his shirt like a sail, and he found himself blowing full speed ahead out to sea. He loved the spray on his beak and the thrill of the ride. Friends, I think if that was me, I might be a little bit nervous about what was going to happen to me. On he sailed and on and on through sunny days and starlit nights. By the time he finally reached land, he was standing on tippy webs on an iceberg. Look how small it got, friends. With his little heart beating in excitement, Tacky waddled ashore, ready for an adventure. Friends, it doesn't look like a very cold place, right? Palm trees, sand. It's going to be much warmer than he's used to. After being greeted by the strangest penguins he'd ever seen, he came upon a large gray rock. Friends, these aren't penguins, right? We know they're birds. And friends, what do you think this is? What do you think it is? Large, gray, big ears, small tail. Did you guess an elephant? Okay, let's find out. How nice, he had lots of rocks at home. Funny, thought Tacky, this rock is warm. The rocks he knew were cold and it's a little squishy. The rocks he knew were hard and sort of hairy. Hairy? He couldn't remember any hairy rocks back on the iceberg. Tacky never could sit still for long, so he did the little rock, rock hopping dance he'd always enjoyed doing at home. I don't need shoes and I don't need socks, just my mellow yellow feet for hopping on the rocks. Hey, I don't need shoes and I don't need socks, just my mellow yellow feet for hopping on the rocks. Hey, I don't. Suddenly, the rock rose up, and a voice louder than any penguins, a voice louder than even Tacky's, boomed, Something is tickling my back! Before Tacky could ask, What's happening? The rock, whose name happened to be Rocky, grabbed him, and they were crashing through the jungle. Friends, what do you think? How do you think Rocky is feeling right now? Look at his face. Do you think he feels very happy? Mm -mm, I don't think so. He looks like he's upset, maybe angry. Tacky loved adventures, but was this fun or what? He wasn't sure. Finally, Rocky came to a very gray clearing, plumped Tacky down and bellowed, flowers for my table. While Tacky was puzzled, Rocky was overjoyed. 
for she had taken one look at Tacky's shirt and was convinced she had brought home the most beautiful bunch of flowers in the world. Yes, indeedy, just what I needed to brighten up this dreary old place. Let's see, I'll need a wide vase. It's a gorgeous bunch of flowers, but th pretty thick around the stem. Friends, Rocky thinks that Tacky is a group of flowers. That's just the fabric, that's just the pattern on his shirt, right? Definitely not flowers. After choosing her widest face, Rocky plopped Tacky in and he looked around. The table was set for dinner with ketchup and lemon pie and grape punch and gravy and mustard and marmalade and peanut butter and lots of other good things. Rocky glumped gleefully around the table singing, flowers make all the difference, flowers make all the difference. I'm not a bunch of flowers, said Tacky. <gasps> Say what? Rocky trumpeted. Of course you're a bunch of flowers. Don't be silly. She sniffed Tacky. <laughs> you smell lovely too. Thank you, said Tacky, but I'm not a bunch of flowers. I'm a penguin. Rocky and Tacky, Rocky eyed Tacky suspiciously. What's a penguin? Some sort of weird plant? No, offered Tacky. It's a kind of bird. A bird, snorted Rocky. What a hoot. You're not like any bird I've ever seen. Tacky felt his neck feathers prickle uncomfortably. I'm really, honestly, truly a penguin, he repeated. Rocky did not want to hear this. She wanted flowers. She needed those flowers. And her dull gray home needed those flowers. If you're a penguin, prove it, Rocky demanded. Then she reached out, whoosh, she snatched Tacky's shirt. At least I'm keeping the pretty blossoms, no matter what. Well, unless you can convince me you're a penguin. Tacky knew he was in trouble now. His shirt was his sail. And without his shirt, how would he get home? Would he ever see goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect again? Hurry up now, I'm hungry, and I don't have all day, snapped Rocky impatiently. Prove you're a penguin. Do something penguin-ish. Tacky thought very hard. He just had to show her. Oh, yes, he remembered. Penguins march. He began. One, two, three. Stepped in the ketchup bowl without knowing it, and continued marching all over the table. Four, five, seventeen, one hundred. What else, asked Rocky. Penguin's belly slide. Tacky got a running start skidded across the lemon pie and swished in swirls over the tablecloth. Hmm. Where was that lemon smell coming from? Go on, ordered Rocky. Penguins die. Tack Tacky took a bounding leap up and did a splashy cannonball into the pitcher of grape punch. Refreshing. More confused than convinced, Rocky asked, and keep going. What else? What else? What else could a penguin do? Then he remembered what had gotten him into this situation in the first place, and he said, penguins are excellent hoppers. Bravely tilting his beak up in his best proper hopping form, he hopped in the gravy and hopped on the cloth and hopped in the mustard and hopped on the cloth and hopped in the marmalade and hopped on the cloth and hopped in the peanut butter and stopped. Then he waddled stickily over to Rocky. See, he shrugged hopefully, I'm a penguin. Rocky looked at her red, yellow, purple, brown, gold, orange, and tan tablecloth and bellowed, what have you done to my tablecloth? <gasps> Tacky froze. He had been having fun doing penguin things and he hadn't even realized that he'd made a mess. Uh-oh, he thought. I'm stuck here forever. I'll never get home to my iceberg. My tablecloth, my tablecloth, hooted Rocky. I love it. I simply love it. Look at those colors. They're brilliant. They're beautiful. And they're so much prettier than your blossoms. No offense. Here you go. You wonderful, odd, whatever you are. With that, she picked up Tacky's shirt and flipped it to him. She also threw him a hot dog, a cookie, and three kisses. Thank you, she trumpeted as Tacky waved goodbye and set out for the water's edge. That worked out well for Tacky, didn't it, my friends?
He leapt onto a log thinking, I didn't know ice blocks came in brown. And as his shirt caught the wind, he set sail. Friends, do you know what that is? He's not in an iceberg anymore. Remember, he was in a warm place. That's part of a tree. It's a log from a tree. The top part of the tree is gone, as are the roots, the bottom part. Meanwhile, back on the iceberg, goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect were singing sunrise on the iceberg. The sun rose, but they didn't feel in charge. Life just hadn't been the same without Tacky. Everything was so orderly, and they were tired of patting each other on the back and whispering, what is happening? Nothing was happening. Then they saw the speck in the distance. Could it be? As the speck came closer and closer, they could see it was Tacky. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, and perfect, hug Tacky. Tacky was an odd bird, but a nice bird to have, bird to have around. And many miles away, an elephant sat by her colorful tablecloth and thought the same thing. Friends, that was a story about Tacky the penguin. And he chose to go on an adventure. So he went sailing on an, a piece of an iceberg. And he ended up in a place, a warm weather place, where he met this elephant named Rocky. And Rocky thought that Tacky the penguin was actually flowers that she wanted to put in her vase. And so Tacky had to convince Rocky that he wasn't a bunch of flowers, that he was a penguin. And in the end, he was able to leave because he made a tablecloth out of the different colors from the food that Rocky had. And then he was able to get back to his penguin friends and so the story, again, was Tacky kind of getting into a little bit of a mess and figuring out how to get out of that mess. Friends, I hope you enjoyed our story today. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Book a Day for Little Learners. I will have another Tacky story for you tomorrow, and I look forward to seeing you then. Bye, friends.